Well, hi there. I'm going to show you how to do my diamond owl stitch. Um, this is a really uh, fun and easy stitch I figured out. I am uh, going to use pearls in this one, which is something different than I normally do. I don't use pearls that much just because I've used them so much in my life with knit, knitting with needles and then starting loom knitting. And so I kind of got bored with doing so many pearls. So knit and pearl stitches kind of got boring to me just because I did so many. So I made new stitches using knits and uh, pearls and, and different wraps and things to make the stitches. So this one has a pearl in it, but it's still a really easy stitch to do. It's all done on one peg. Um, I called it the diamond owl because there's what it looks like. There, there, and now I'm getting it in the light so you can see the stitch has these diamond pieces. And I'm going to turn it around so you can see this side too. It looks pretty awesome. So you can have it reversible. There, <laughs> get that in the road. There, I think now you can see it better. I made sure I had a light background so it would show up. But there it is. So it gives you a nice textured stitch. Easy to do. It doesn't curl. So you don't have to worry about it curling. I did an owl eye edge and I will show you how to do that. Just so it would have some kind of an edge that was thicker to make the blanket or whatever I make out of it be nicer. And then I just did a chain cast on. Now I will put this cast on on my channel so you'll know what cast on I used. And I'll also link the cast off that I would use with this project and with this cast on. It'll be linked there too so you'll be able to find it. And all I did was a couple rows of owl eye to make a more um, thicker substantial border. And then I just did the stitch all in here. So this is all just the one peg stitch and this is the effect you get. Now you can use it as is like I'm doing it um, to do a project or you can do it in the middle of other stitches where you want to have a different texture and a different pattern. Okay so um, I'll just put you on pause, get my loom hook and we'll get started. Oh I, I guess I should tell you what I'm using. So this is a um, 30 or 41 peg loom and it's from Michael's set. It's the molded one piece um, circle loom set. This is the biggest one in the set. It's three quarter inch gauge and I'm using a bulky yarn and I'm so sorry I can't tell you the name of the yarn because I had it rolled in a ball for a long time. The shop rolled it up for me and I lost the tag. But it was a cotton yarn and it had a percentage of silk in it. I can feel the silk and it's very, very soft. So it's just a bulky yarn. You don't have to use cotton uh, silk yarn. It works with acrylic, wool yarn, whatever you want to do. And you will get an easy stitch pattern that doesn't curl. So I'll just put you on pause now. And I'll get my loom hook and I'll show you how to do the stitch. Okay, so here I am. Now, I do the stitch quite loose. If you do it loose, you get the, the bigger holes in the pattern, but the stitch can be done tighter too. I like it looser. It's easier on my arm, keeps me from getting carpal tunnel. I'll just show you um, what my yarn looks like in a, in a bigger close-up. Uh, it's a really, really pretty yarn. Okay, now you can do a blanket or, um, now I lost my loom hook. <laughs> I just have to put you on pause again. Back again. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so here's the piece. So here's an easy thing so you'll know which way you're going. If your yarn is going this way and here I'll get a close up. You can see it's coming out of here and the yarn's going this way. So whatever direction the yarn's going, that's the direction you're going. And so if you have to get up, do something, it's really easy to come back and do this stitch again. 
tells you which way it's going just by looking at it. Okay, so first of all, on the pegs, when we're doing this stitch, it's done on one peg. As I said, the first stitch you're going to do is the purl stitch. I'm going to come up, make a new loop, and then put that new loop on the peg. Okay, now here's the second part of the stitch. You're going to come around from the back and in front. So now you're holding it. Now that you've wrapped it around, you're holding it like you're doing a U-wrap. And then you're just going to knit it over. And that's all there is to it. Now you can tighten it up if you're doing it tight or you can leave it loose like I do. Come to the next peg. Do a purl. So pretty easy stitch. Then you wrap it around from the back and in front. So now you're doing a U-wrap stitch. Your yarn's held the way you're going. And then just knit it over. See, I told you, very, very easy stitch to give you that diamond type of pattern. Okay, so purl stitch. Come back around and just knit over. And now we're on the last two pegs. Now I've marked the last two pegs here and the last two pegs here. And I think I've done around um, 16 stitches, but it doesn't matter how many stitches you do. It depends on the project you want to make. You can make it as big as you want. Okay. It's just if you want to do the same edge I'm doing and you don't have to, the stitch doesn't curl. You can do any edge you want, but I liked it with this owl eye edge. So do the owl eye edge. Now, if you've been doing this stitch loose, you're going to want to do the edge stitch loose. Been doing it tight, you can do the edge stitch tighter, but not too tight. You don't want uh, you don't want your edges to be uh, much a lot tighter than your project. So anyway, come over in a U wrap, knit it over, then come over both of the pegs at the end and knit them over. Then you're going to wrap around and knit them both over again. And cotton <laughs> doesn't stretch at all, so it's a harder material to work with. Oh, and then after I did the two, I'm going to do just this one again. And that's my owl edge border. Okay, and then we go right back into the stitch. So we purl it. Put it on the peg. We're going this way. Your yarn's going this way. We wrap around from the back and in front, holding it in a U wrap again, and then just knitting it over. And there we go. So purl it. Come back around and in front and knit it over. And see, now that you're going this way, your yarn is going this way. So it tells you which way you're going. And if you're doing the same kind of edge I am and you've marked both pegs, you know what you're doing here too by the way the yarn is going. So it's pretty easy. You can put it down, pick it up. Nice one to take with you because it's so easy to remember what you are doing. Okay, so purl, come around, and knit it over. So it's that easy. And this is what you get. All done on one peg. So very, very easy. I did, I made up the stitch, oh gee, how long ago was it? Quite a while ago and I've done quite a few projects, but I have a couple in the works and um, my life is so busy now being a caregiver that I don't know when I'll get to them all, but I can certainly um, get on there, show you the pattern, give you tips to do it, and uh, and whatever. So I'll get a couple of the other patterns using this stitch up really shortly. 
And as I said, if you want to do a project in it, I've put a link for the cast on and the bind off. So you'll be able to do it. And I've showed you the edge I'm doing. So I've showed you already how you can do a project with this by just doing a stitch video. But this is just a stitch video, but I've given you tips. You should be able to make a piece easily. And I will have uh, some project videos coming. I just don't know when. My life is very busy right now. But we're going to purl. Wrap around. And knit over. Okay, I'm just going to get a little closer. Make sure that you know what I'm doing. Very easy. You're just purling. It's all done on one peg. Purling it. Then you're taking your yarn, going back over the same peg. So you're going to go behind it and in front of it. Hold it like you're holding a U-wrap. And just knit it over. Okay? So purl. Now you're on this side of the peg. You go behind the peg and in front. And then just knit it over. Oops, I almost knit it. Well, there we go. Purl it. Go behind, in front, hold it like you're doing a U-wrap. Knit over. And you can get fast. You can just whip along with the stitch. And like I said, it mixes really nice with other stitches. So, if you're doing it faster, you're just purling, coming around, and knitting it over, just like that. And you'll likely be using an easier yarn than this one. It has zero stretch. It's just cotton, <laughs> but it cotton and silk, it sure feels nice. Okay, purl, wrap around, knit over. Now we've come to the end pegs again. So when I'm doing an owl eye edge, I go over the first peg in the set, Knit it over. Come back over behind it and in front. Knit them both. Now keeping this peg really loose because it only gets two stitches on it compared to the four on here. You want to keep this one loose. Go back over the two. I'll pull it and over this one. And then you just do one more knit on this one. And then you're ready to do your next row. And you're going to do the same thing. You just purl. Again, if you look at where your yarn is, if you had to quit, your yarn's coming out of this way so you know you're on this peg last and that you're going this way. So you just purl. And then come from behind and in front. And knit it off. Over to the next peg. Purl. Come back and knit it over. And that's all there is to it. So, at this point, I think that's pretty much all I can show you. You should be able to do the stitch. You should be able to do a project from beginning to end because I've given you links to the cast on and cast off. I've showed you how to do an edge. Uh, you could have a blanket, poncho, scarf, cowl, you name it. The stitch doesn't work in the round at very well because you're just going one direction. So you can't really get the diamond look. It gives you a completely different kind of pattern that doesn't look like the diamond owl, but it can be done. It is a textured stitch. It will give you an interesting look. I may do a video on it at some point, but it will not match this, just so that you know that before you uh, try to do that. 
I, I hope you really enjoyed this stitch. I have a lot of fun doing it. I love the one peg stitches. So easy to do, easy to take along, hard to get mixed up. One last look and you can see there we go. We've got, we've got it. So that's the Diamond Owl stitch. So bye for now.